The tadpoles are now about five weeks old, and at this stage is when we might expect to see some legs growing. So let's take a closer look and see if we can see any. So you may notice there are several different sizes of tadpoles in the tank. Some are much bigger than the others. Some of them don't look any bigger than when I first put them in, but other ones are getting quite big and they are the ones that are beginning to grow legs. We'll take a close look at those in a moment. Now the size differences is perfectly normal. I've noticed this every year that I've done this. And also if you look out in the pond you will see a wide variety of sizes. Now uh, what I believe the reason for this is, is that larger tadpoles will release a hormone through their faeces into the water which actually inhibits the growth of other tadpoles. So what this means is for the larger tadpoles they actually have an advantage now. If you can get big and you keep your brothers and sisters small then you have an advantage, you'll have the priority when it comes to food, you will change into a little frog quicker and you'll be able to get out of the water become a frog. You have that advantage so that's why they do it. Okay so let's take a closer look at some of these tadpoles. These are some of the larger ones that are swimming up in the corner and you may notice one or two of them have legs. It can be quite tricky to tell but the legs will stick right back out, they're very close to the underside of the tail. Now at this stage is when they start to become carnivorous, so we're going to need to adapt their diet. So uh, up until now we've been feeding them spinach. Now of course these are only just being to, eat, uh, to get their legs, so they will still eat the spinach, but they will need some protein now. So let's take a close look at what we're going to be feeding them. Okay, so what I'm feeding them here is bloodworm. This is available from pet shops. It comes in a little packet and uh, I can just squeeze it out into the tank. And this is it's full of protein, this little blood worm uh, with a sort of nutrient gel. And the, uh, the tadpoles absolutely love this stuff. Even the vegetarian ones, they will still eat it. And we can take a closer look here. We can see some of the tadpoles coming in to nibble at the uh, blood worm. And even the snail has come in. He likes that as well. Now if you are feeding a uh, protein like bloodworm or brine shrimp is another one that I used last year. If you feed them to your tadpoles before they have their back legs, probably don't give them to them too often. Only about maybe once a week is fine. A little bit of protein really helps them. Um, but if they have got the back legs then this is what they're going to be needing to eat a lot more frequently. Uh, but of course uh, most of the tadpoles in here don't have their legs yet so I still need to make sure there's something for them to eat. So I'm still going to put in another couple of spinach leaves for them as well. And even the ones that do have legs, they're not fully carnivorous now, they will still nibble on the leaves as well. Now it is very important to make sure that we have the right kind of food in there for them. Once they get the back legs and they turn carnivorous, if they don't have enough protein, enough of this kind of meat based food, then they can become um, cannibalistic. They will start turning on each other and they will begin to eat each other, which won't be very pleasant for you. So it is very important that you have enough food for everybody to go around and the right sort of food as well. Now if you saw last episode you'll have seen the focus on that one was of the mating pair of water lice that we had in here. We had the larger male water louse was attached to the back of the smaller female one and he was protecting her waiting for her to molt so he could mate with her. Now this one we can see here is the female. Whether it's the same female that we saw or whether it's a different one that was in here I'm not entirely sure but you can see that that pale blue-ish kind of colour pouch that she has on her underside that is her brood pouch and you can actually see if you look really closely there are some eggs in there. Now every now and again you can see some movement so I think she's actually in the process of laying those eggs right now and uh, you can see those kind of eggs moving around every now and again and it's a pretty amazing footage. I've never seen anything like this before and I'm so glad I managed to capture this one. Okay well that is going to be all for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I found this one absolutely fascinating watching these uh, eggs being laid. Uh, so next time out the tadpole's legs should have grown a lot more. Hopefully we'll be able to see a lot better and, and a lot more of them will be having their legs. So I'll be looking forward to that one and uh, yeah we'll definitely see if there's anything else interesting that we can find either out on the pond or here in the tank. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week here on Frogwatch. Goodbye.